So welcome back to a brand new episode of the Cleveland Cavaliers, my GMO. It's right now we're 18-7, and seven, won 7 in a row, 83 team cam, 86 fan interest, and we're first in the Eastern Conference and first in the Central Division. And I think we're number one in the NBA, I'm pretty sure. 18-7, nope, not number, not number one. I haven't recorded in a few days, so that's why I got everything wrong. But power rankings, we're 8th in NBA.com ratings, 4th in 2Ks, and first in Mark Spears rating, so it's pretty good. We uh, did lose, did win uh, seven of our last ten, I'm guessing. Uh, yes, yeah, seven game winning streak. No, nine of our last ten. That's good. But division, we got that stranglehold lead on our division. Look at this, our four and a half games back, but we played. Is it 25? They played like three more games than us. That's pretty good. And. Yeah, GM Power Rankings number one, the NBA. Might be because of that Rudy Gobert trade, I'm not too sure, but I'm, that's got to lead to something. But we did win our seventh in a row against the Nets last game. One point victory, that's pretty good. But everyone's doing fine, like nobody's complaining at all, which is really good. But anyway, let's go keep on simming some games. So we're facing the 76ers. Should I sim that one? No crap, crap. Crap. Oh, I'll go I'll go sim to this. I'll go sim to the Boston in the Chicago game, sorry. Okay, so there's a trade. Jeremy Grant, Herb Bernard, our Grizzlies first round pick, and PJ Tucker. No Suri Bob. Oh my god. Savage. Holy crap. 140 to 95 final. Look at this. Ben Simmons, 21 points, 12 rebounds. Double double right there. This is what this is how our team succeeds. We have this freaking foundation of players that can win games like this. Even when LeBron's not playing, I guess he played pretty well. Double double in assists and points. Six for eleven shooting, that's pretty good. But even when LeBron's not playing like his absolute best, our the rest of our team steps up. Like like Ben Simmons, Draymond Green, who hasn't really contributed too much this season, and Kyrie Irving. He should be the MVP. I'm gonna go check out MVP rating right now. I'll start voting. I'll check out that first. So John Wall number one for backcourt. Number two Kyrie Irving, well deserved. Number three Jimmy Butler, basically carrying the Bulls, even though they're not a playoff team yet. Kyle Lowry, Isaiah Thomas, who's playing really well in real life. Demar Derozan, there we go. Jared Jack, Jeff Teague. Where's Jared Jack? Oh yeah, he's in the Nets. But front court, LeBron James, 1.2 million votes, just pull, pulled ahead of Paul George and Carmelo Anthony, so that's good. But, oh, they don't have, oh, that sucks, they don't have the award races yet, but I'm guessing Kyrie would be in there for MVP, because he's practically carrying this team. But we dominate the 76ers, the holy crap, that's amazing. 45 point victory for the win. But, let's go sim to the Chicago game, but. Anyway, like as I'm recording this right now, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a cold, cause it's gonna it's getting pretty bad where I live for at least colds. Cause whenever I go to school, all I hear is coughing down the hallways. Nobody covering their damn uh, mouth when they cough, so it's up in the air. You walk, pra you practically walk through all the germs and stuff. So it's really annoying. Most work. Uh, can I say none of the above? Our team is amazing. Coaching staff, great. Scouting, awesome. Training, even better. Even our players are good, but uh, I'll get scouting through the mud. We don't really need scouting too much. Our team's not looking for a top pick, but we win against the Nuggets. But LeBron's complaining about t team training, I'm guessing intensity. But back to the story. But I'm probably gonna get a cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna. Hopefully, I don't get one tomorrow. Fingers crossed, because right now I'm kind of feeling like I got the sore throat. My nose is kind of getting stuffy. LeBron's complaining about training, it increases in training, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't have a. Oh, what the heck? LeBron would like to speak to you about how happy he is with his teammates. Well, that's good. So we get one whammy with him complaining about training, but then he goes and throws it on top and says that he likes a team. So LeBron's a team player. Team player. Skip Bayless even loves him. I'm guessing. Hopefully, he does. He doesn't like fourth quarter, quarter LeBron James, but he likes LeBron James though. Coddle? Yeah. You need to call your players. Show them some love. Not tough love, but like actual love. So increase that training for LeBron because he's an MVP. he's the real MVP. And 
There you go. So, I think my training things I changed for the team really helped it out. I guess it's gotta do something. Because I went and I changed everyone their specific stuff they need to work on. Then someone told me how to frickin' stop Ben Simmons from taking threes, which helped immensely. I was so ticked off when Ben Simmons kept taking threes. Thank you for ever, whoever said that. Holy crap, he won 10 straight now. Damn. Okay. Between the starters and your bench, what area are you most concerned with and may have a letdown in this streak? No comment. Our team is fantastic. Screw yourselves. Damn, media trying to look for reactions. We went against Boston 11 in a row. Let's go and win against Chicago. Come on. Don't. Don't. There we go. We just hold on to the lead. 113 to 105 final against Boston. Not Boston, Chicago. I always get those two mixed up. I have no idea why. But Kyrie, 28 points, 1 rebound, 11 assists, 1 steal, 2 uh, double double. LeBron James, 26 points, 11 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, 1 block, double double. DeMar DeRozan, 26 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 steals. Mo Williams, I mean not Mo Williams, Marvin Williams. I gotta get used to that. But 8 points, 3 rebounds. Ben Simmons, 7 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Yeah, Ben. So I'm guessing it's just a habit, though. It's a habit you cannot stop. But, anyway, I guess he is a, a small forward, and small forwards take threes a lot, so that's. You can't really stop that. But Jimmy Butler, 28 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. Practically carrying his team, him and Powell. But, where's. Is Derek Rose injured again? Are you kidding me? Oh my. That man is a band aid. Even on the video game, he is. Jeez. I know he's doing. B oh, crap. Big trade. Terrence Ross for Fist is Ely. But anyway, Derek, Ro Derek Rose. Come on, man. Can't get injured every five seconds. I'm guessing it's something new with his ankle. Or his foot. Something like that. Mo Williams is out. Derek Rose. Broken right leg. Oh, my God. Jeez. One or two weeks. Ooh, that's not too good. Jamal Murray's out. Shma Shabazz Muhammad. Jonas Valanciunas. Wasn't he leading in rebounds? I swear he was. But 14 rebounds per game is pretty good. Just these wins low. Torn right MCL. Four to six weeks. And looks like Nurman Belyinka. Oh, torn left Achilles. Out for the season. Not good for the Pistons. But I don't know if they have playoff hopes at all, though. Because last time I checked the Pistons, they were like bottom of the league. Well, they're not too bad. 14-16 is not too bad. But we're like the only team above 500. I guess they are five. Like The Bucks are 500, but we're above that. And we keep on rolling, though, honestly. 12 in a row. I'm going to send this next game, just in case. We better not lose this game to the Nets. We better not lose this game to the Nets. They're literally worst in the NBA. And we do. 101-77 to final. We don't lose the, the worst. But Kyrie, 28 points, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. LeBron, 21 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. Ben Simmons, 10 points, 7 rebounds, 1 steal. Big Ben. <clears throat> ben, no, no. God damn it. <laughs> Jeez, we gotta take... Come on, Ben. I gotta stop to this. Just, just keep on going. Tomorrow, 10 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal. Rudy Gobert, 9 points, 16 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 block, 2 offensive rebounds, so that's a lot of defensive rebounds on the day. But Draymond, 6 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals. Good game from him. But for the Nets, they got that Thaddeus Young or Tyrus. Yeah, Thaddeus Young, 25 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. Carrying the team right now. What happened to its face? Jerk Jack, only 5 rebounds, 5 assists. And this man's nominated for All Star. 13 points per game, and he's nominated for All-Star. Makes no sense. Fans are wrong. Should be voting in someone else. Let's check the seat. Hopefully, he's not in there again. He's still in there. Are you kidding me? Jeff Teague's better than him. Damn. John Wall's still number one. Kyrie's catching up, though. He's got the most points per game out of everybody on the backcourt. As for front court. Carmelo 24, LeBron 22.5, so he's second in there. So we're catching up though. I still remember early in the season where nobody was, like we weren't even catching anybody. But Curry looks like he could be getting MVP this season. Maybe 
Wait, was he MVP last year? Only in 2015. 2016, like this year in real life, he's getting MVP for sure. I think the first month everyone knew he was getting MVP, but... Anyway, we're get we're actually catching up. LeBron 10th in the league in points. Where's where is where's Ky uh, where's Kyrie? But Demar 20th in the league, so we got 20th and 10th lockdown. Kyrie fourth. Didn't even see that. But damn, he is rolling though. Honestly, we would never be anywhere near first place without Kyrie. So we got to make sure that we can maybe keep LeBron this year. But for sure, we're keeping Kyrie Irving whenever his contract's up. I think it's in like two the years. We got until like 20, 2020 basically. So fingers crossed, LeBron signs with us again. We have minus three million in, in cap hits, so that's decent amount of salary. We should be able to sign him. The only problem is though, you can't really sign. Like, hopefully this isn't a, like a free agent signing. Like, you, hopefully you can, you can negotiate something, sell what you're negative in the salary cap, because. Otherwise, we cannot sign with no, basically no money. Because we can't sign any free agents right now. Like, there's this one guy I want to sign like, right here. Borak Nojewitz. Put him on the bench. 54 badges. If you guys are, are playing GM mode, try getting this guy and see if he goes anywhere with his potential. His potential is like a C plus or a C minus, yeah. But, like, look at his threes, though. He'd be good just coming off the bench. Sure, his athleticism sucks. But... He's good for what he's worth, I guess. But anyway, let's keep on going. We've won 13 in a row. More than the Raptors did with their 11 game winning streak that went to, came to an end. What was it? In real life, it was yesterday against the Denver Nuggets. The Raptors were doing really well. I saw Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan were voted Eastern All Star in Eastern Conference Players of the Month, so that's pretty good for them. Let's go find a team that we're actually a chance of losing. Now they got the Knicks. Got Carmelo. Oh crap. Really disgruntled lately and wants to be traded. Draymond, what are you talking about? Oh my god, Draymond. Oh my. This is not a soap opera here. Don't be the drama queen here. Okay, so let's deal with this kindly. And don't try to poke the bear here. This man is dangerous. Yo, Alex, if you ain't gonna make my, use of my talents, I think the only option on the table is to trade me. You're on the freaking starting lineup. Shut your mouth. What? Prom. Oh my god. This man. Jesus. Be a team player. We're number one in the NBA. We don't. Not number one. We're up in. Up for first in the East, I guess. Don't be like this. Oh my Okay, keep saying. Promise, we're not trading him. Promise more touches, I guess? Jesus, Draymond, take a chill pill. The whole world knows by now that Draymond Green is the man in a trade. Who's to blame for this mess? I would say obviously him, but he'd make him even more mad. Oh my god. Again, I guess he'll piss off the coaches. Okay, so I just went and stopped the recording because I wanted to go check out the Leafs logo because it's getting announced after the game. And the Leafs won overtime against Boston. And they announced the logo. And it looks actually pretty sick. Because it's like, looks like, kind of like the logo from the like, 1960s. Back when they actually won something. But otherwise, it looks pretty awesome. It's like bold, sleek. It looks good for like 2016 17. But anyway, let's keep on going. So Draymond Green, he's not loving it here. But that's because he's being a hypocritical moron who doesn't think about winning and just thinks about himself, personal stats, just like in real life. When he admitted that he wanted, he let personal stats get in the way of winning the game, which they, the Warriors did win the game, but but they almost lost because he tried going for his personal stats for the triple-double. But I gotta talk to him. Gotta perk him up a bit, because otherwise he's annoying. And we gotta light a spark. Uh, yeah, light a spark pitch. That should be good. Better work. But, we gotta give him some more minutes because he's just gonna keep complaining. And I really don't care too much about him, but 
he's playing good so far. Like, the past few games, he's been playing pretty good, so. Give Marvin Williams his minutes. Kevin Looney can lose some minutes a bit. We'll give Draymond Green these extra six minutes. 37 minutes. Because he's getting all mad and stuff. That LeBron's getting all the minutes and the ball. It's just annoying. But I want to see if there's actually a promise. Usage rate. How do we increase the usage rate? So, next few games. Timothy Mozgov's coming back pretty soon, but let's go and put Dream Green on there. Because he's the all star. He's the John Scar of the team. But. Let's hope this doesn't go and make us lose this game against the Celtics. If this does, then Draymond Green is... Mm. Let's get you go to some cha uh, prospects. Markel Fultz. Point guard, 75 overall. Good playmaking. Mm, not too bad of a potential. I'd like a better one, though. He's more of a bench player kind of thing. But, Rubion's Crux. Yeah, he doesn't look too good. Kobe Simmons, C. Oh boy, him. Ah, eh, B potential, not too bad. Gotta love that B potential. Oh, pick the prospects. So you guys, Dennis Smith, Jonathan Isaac, Raleigh Atkins, Kobe Simmons, Antonio Blakeney, Lonzo Bell, or Ball, Grayson Allen, and that's it. There we go. So Team Cam is up to 90. Our fans. Uh, fan interest is going up, which is good. I don't know why he was e even that low to begin with. It's really, really annoying. God damn it! 92 to 88 final arc. Game 13 game winning streak has been snapped, and I'm guessing it's because of Draymond Green. LeBron 28 points, 18 rebounds, three assists, three steals, one block, a double double right there. Insanely good game from LeBron, but the team did not pick it up. But Le Ben Simmons 15 points. Six rebounds, one block. Kyrie Irving, 13 points, three rebounds, five assists, four steals. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, 12 points, four rebounds, five assists, three steals, two blocks. Six for 27. Really? Oh my god. Draymond Green, five points, ten rebounds, three assists, three blocks. One for 12 shooting. One for 12. And he fouled out too. What a moron. I'll increase my usage rate. Uh, I'll be playing better. Uh, I'm tired of your, this crap. I want to be traded. And then you go and play like this. First game. Oh, this game makes no sense. No sense at all. No knowledge. Gotta be like Ty Lopez in that ad about his Lamborghini. You what's know, more important about Lamborghini and personal stats? Knowledge. Get some, Draymond Green. God damn it. LeBron is his best game the freaking season, and you guys blow it for him. Way to go, Draymond. Oh, it better not be freaking Draymond Green. It better not be. I'm pissed right now. Uh, who cares? Paul George isn't that good. Better not be Draymond. Herb Bernard. Okay. Too low for Herb. If it was Draymond Green, oh my god, I would have flipped. Jeez. You use him more, you lose more. That's why we took him out of the game plan. We gave him less minutes. Increase intensity for Herb, because he wants a challenge. Just like LeBron. So let's go down to here. Uh, training. Player Herb Bernard. And put it up to very high. Because he's perky. Erky perky. <laughs> let's keep on si simming. 16 and 20 pacers, let's beat them. Please beat them. Come on, guys, I know you can. And we do, 117 to 103 final. DeMar, 33 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, 14 for 22 shooting. Good job, DeMar. Kyrie, 25 points, 3 rebounds, 14 assists, 2 blocks, playing like a true point guard there, double double. Uh, LeBron James, 15 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals, 3 blocks. Good game from LeBron. Ben Simmons, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 blocks. Double double. Draymond Green, 14 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. Double double. 1 for 6 from the 3 point, though. Not too good. Real Bear, 4 points, 8 rebounds, 1 block. 2 offensive rebounds on the day. Oh my god. This cold is making me so angry. Between Draymond and Green, this cold, 
I don't know what's making me mad, more mad. Indiana, CJ Miles, 22 points, Paul George, 21, but they don't get the win. So we start up a new, I guess, winning streak. This fan inch just better climb after this game. I want to see it climb. And we win the game, 126 to 105 against the Knicks. Kyrie, 39 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals. Good job, Kyrie. DeMar, 22, 25 points, 2 rebounds, 9 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Ben Simmons, 23 points, 10 rebounds. Double-double right there. Good game from Ben, even though he shot 3-pointers. Marvin Williams, 12 point, 13 points, 2 rebounds. LeBron, 13 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists. Draymond Green, 9 points, 17, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. 3 for 5 shooting. As for the Knicks, Carmelo, 21 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. Not too bad of a game, but didn't get the win. So I'll go ahead and send this last game against the Magic, because this cold is making me mad. Oh. Yeah, it says give less minutes to Draymond Green. Give more minutes to Ben Simmons. Uh oh, LeBron's fatigued. That's why he's playing so bad. So drop LeBron's minutes. Give Ben Simmons way more minutes than he has. Screw. Uh, Joe Harris is good. Screw Kevin Looney. Bring him up there. Give him not real there. Drop his minutes by a few. Give Ben Simmons the minutes. He deserves them. Playing like a true warrior right now. Both sim this last game. Not in episode, but let's dominate them. Come on. I know we can. We destroy him. 106 to 90 final. There you go. 16 point. Uh, Kyrie, 22 points, 1 rebound, 12 assists, 6 steals, 1 block. There we go, Kyrie. De DeMar, 18 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 steals. Ben Simmons, 17 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. But will it be Marvin Williams, 10 points. Draymond Green, 9 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 for 8 shooting. LeBron, 8 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 block. And that's about it. Oh, for the... Orlando, Evan Fournier, 21 points. Jalen Brown, yeah, 15 points. So, we ended that 13 point, I mean, 13 game winning streak with a loss against the Celtics because their team played like garbage except for LeBron. But we start up another winning streak with three in a row. And our fan interest is climbing, which is really good. Let's check out pricing quickly. So, I decided to lower the ticket prices because I thought. If you blur the ticket prices, more people come to games, which means we'll get even more revenue than before. Because it's clear that no, no, not too many fans are showing up to the games. Let's see if pricing graphs went up. Attendance went up. Hey, I got an idea. This. First game, 20% almost. That dropped. Yeah, about 20%. So pricing, I'll put down to 65. 65. There you go. So, if you lower the pricing, more people come, which means you get more revenue, which means good. But anyway, I'll end this episode off right here, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Cleveland Cavaliers My Gym Mode. And thanks for watching, I will see you later.